Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today we are talking about the energy drink company Celsius, that is ticker symbol C-E-L-H. We're going to see if the stock is worth 20, or I'm sorry, $42. Uh, should it be higher, should it be lower? What are institutions and hedge funds doing? And we'll also take a sneak peek at our advanced charting on Think or Swim. <clears throat> I have charted this one up before, so my future self would like to thank my past self. Um, okay, they did a split, which is why you see, oh, you don't actually even see it. So I don't have to explain myself, but um, you'll see it. I'll just leave it here and we'll come back to it. Anyway, uh, let's see uh, if the stock, I mean, this is a pretty bad free fall. We'll see what it uh, should be worth uh, and go from there after we hit the subscribe button. Do you remember me? Okay. So uh, RSI is out of 47. That's actually not bad in terms of uh, strength with the bear, blah, 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 blah. with the bear, with the bulls to the bears. It was extremely hot. Uh, I mean, it was, it's this, this has been a, a freaking insane company. They did a split recently. I mean, it's gone up a thousand plus percent. Um, Strength going down, MACD going down. Uh, money flow is actually taking a breather. It's not gone. And our relative momentum indicator is, it's just coming off of the hotness. So it's really hard to tell where the momentum is going to be. But I mean, it's gone from $100 down to 42. So it's down 57.29%. Crazy. Uh, year to date, it's down 21%. They are profitable. Let's see what's going on. I mean, this is absolutely incredible right here. Um, 206 million shares were at, were in the pool in 2019. 2023, there's 231 million shares available. So they looks like they've added about 25 million shares. Um, EPS, I mean, huge. 2022 is not good, but you can see it's this was going down. And then it went big down, then it went big up. So uh, let's just look at some of the good things and bad things here. Uh, are there any bad things? We're going to find out. Quick ratio, three. That's amazing. Debt, zero. Okay, so the price to earnings is really high. The forward price to earnings is a bit lower, which is what we like to see. We like to see the forward PE be significantly less than the current PE. Typically, we want to see PE around 15. So this is still pretty hot in terms of the current stock price. I mean, it's been kind of in a free fall. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if downside continued. Uh, EPS, next five years. Sales over the past five years, insane. Uh, institutions own 62%. Insiders are selling. Gross margin of 49%. That is absolutely incredible. They're profitable. Very high average volume. A lot of shares short. Well... 20 million, that's a lot normally, but with the current flow, it's not. It's only 12.53%. Still, it's pretty good. Uh, so let's run our calculation and see what we get in terms of a potential stock price here with my handy dandy calculator. They have a 9 billion, 950 million mark cap. Good for them. Uh, they do have income, 215 million, 320,000. And they do have 1 billion 410 million in sales. Insane. All right. And their cash and their debt situation is obviously going to look fantastic. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, Q1 2024, they have 355 million in sales. Q1 2023, 259 million. So almost 100 million improvement, which is insane. Uh, Q4 did, I'm sorry, Q4 2023, they did 347 million. Q4 2022, they did 177 million. Gosh, that's 200 and, I'm sorry, 170 million improvement. That's insane. Insane, insane, insane. Um, cost of goods, they're paying less, making more because their brand is sticky. Meaning people, when they see Celsius, they know it's an energy drink. They're like, oh, Celsius, I really like it or I dislike it. Um... Okay. 
Okay, that's a laundry list. Um, Dean DeSantis, he has 30 million shares. Holy cow. Deborah DeSantis, oh my God, who are these people? Or do they, who, where's the DeSantis? Oh my God. This company is making them billionaires over and over. Insane. Um, there's no buying, which means or leads me to believe this stock is not cheap enough. All of these shares are going back into the market. So uh, let's see what we got for our calculation here. Whoops. They do have 879 million. Whoops. 500,000 in cash. Debt I thought was zero. That's 1 million, not that much. 1 million 90,000. Uh, let's look at assets. Total assets 1.6 billion. Total liabilities 483 million. So assets dwarf liabilities almost four to one. So every liability they have, they have almost four assets. That's chef's kiss. Um, okay. I mean, a lot of uh, insider selling, shares outstanding going up. I mean, the insiders are selling and the shares are being added back to the pool. So it's unfortunate. Uh, let's continue our calculation here. 231,790,000. Potential stock price of $981. This is $42. I don't know what it was trading at pre-split. What was the split? Let me see. Was it a 10 to 1? 3 to 1. Did I add a zero somewhere? I don't know. 9.9 .9 billion, right? 9.5 billion. Oh my god. I had 215 billion here. 215 million. Okay, so that brings the stock price down to 5373. See, you have to double check your work. Um, yep, okay. So I have a stock price of 53. Analysts have it at 76. Uh, Truist, $60. So, yeah. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of insiders have so many shares to dump. It's unfortunate. So uh, institutions own 64%. That's old data. New data shows that institutions actually own 84%. That's a 20% increase. Look at that. Insane. And they are all this, everyone who bought December of 2023. Oh, right here. That's February. Everyone who bought right here. I guess they're probably, now they're underwater potentially, but. What are the big boys and girls doing? Uh, JP Morgan Chase added 1,000% shares. William Milmo added 52 million shares. Vanguard added 224%. Chow Hoi Shun Selena Holly sold 18%. FMR added 106%. BlackRock added 178% absolutely insane <laughs> crazy all right now we're going to my favorite part so this was my chart pre-split so let's go ahead and just make a new one create drawing set all right so we're gonna go ahead and start fresh freaky freaky fresh Probably right there is this probably looks accurate. Okay. So you're probably asking Ryan, why'd you choose those points? So right here is our support. We have great support here. Support confirmed three times. Uh, and then we have resistance confirmed one, two, three, four, five. Support confirmed here. So we have four or five resistances and one support. That's more than enough I need to say, hey, there's a line that needs to be there. Don't forget to drink water. All right, now this next part, uh, we're gonna see how well this stock 
is reacting to the Fibonacci arcs. This will potentially give us a, an area to find the bottom. So the low is 1277 on this candle right there. It's off by one penny. Okay, our high is 99.62 right there. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this candle is just sitting here like a little bird on a perch. Wow, okay. Uh, I mean, perfect resistance, perfect resistance. Test resistance, test resistance. Test support, perfect support right now. Uh, honestly, I don't, this doesn't give me high confidence only because um, there's just not that many clean and clear cut candles that are providing um, support or resistance. So let me, where's our low low? Probably all the way back here. If I went from this low to this high, similar story. So we're not getting a clear cut case on um, our Fibonacci arcs, which is fine. It happens. So what we're going to do is do some old fashioned work. So we have our all time highs. We have a double top right here at 99. And we have resistance here at 83. All right, we have some support there. Support there, no real clear cut. Right here is a pretty good one. Okay, the next area of resistance, if this when the stock reverses is 57. And then right here actually right here 46 so this stock is going to have uh need to break 46 um and then let's just do another one because it is in a free fall thirty six is the next area to watch come on i didn't double click right here all right there we go um there is actually decent support here at 42. okay and then we'll do one more on the low we'll go All right, and I'm just tracking out supports and resistances. Uh, will it get this low at some point? We don't know. I don't know if that's straight. It is, okay. Um, okay. So we have this as our um, supports and resistances. I do wanna check the Fibonacci Wrong one. I want to check the Fibonacci time series. So the high of 99.62. Come on, dude. Here we go. I think this is it. Okay, so if we're looking at Fibonacci lines of 78.6, we got a 30 $30.37 target. Um, will it get there? It's really hard to tell. But uh, Fibonacci lines are pretty good. You can see it goes in areas of supports and resistances just naturally. Support, support and resistance. So uh, 30 bucks could be doable it's gone down quite a bit i don't see any 
any confirmation of a reversal just yet. I mean, we have some pretty big red candles here. It's just free fallen. It's just literally free fallen. 9962. We're kind of in this narrow channel. I mean, it's fallen out of the narrow channel there. Let's do it again. And we have a bigger not really let's remove that one so we're in a narrow channel it's fallen out of the narrow channel um so again it's just going to be pretty critical to watch for a potential reversal over the next couple of months i mean they've been killing it on their earnings calls the next earnings is in a few days from now by the time this video comes out uh earnings will have already happened so i mean they're just freaking killing it man I don't know what else I can say. Uh, it's just the trend is your friend until the end. And I it just doesn't appear to be the end at the moment. However, if they smash earnings, this could reverse, right? Pretty quickly. So uh, overall, the PE is 46, forward P is 31. Let's just take a peek at Monster really quick. I want to see what their PE levels are. Let's see. Um, their PE is also pretty high and they're doing pretty good. So yeah, I mean, insane. Just energy drinks are in freaking sane. Um, so do you think Celsius has, it really comes down to your own personal preference. There are people who are very gung-ho on getting into Celsius now. I mean, it it's a strong player for sure. Um, they do 1.4 billion compared to Monster 7 billion. So yeah, I mean, this could be just like a Monster 2.0 essentially. So uh, am I a buyer here? I mean... The PE is a little bit higher than Monster, but I mean, look at the trajectory here. It's just absolutely incredible. A lot of people drink Celsius. I'm not a fan. Um, so that's where I stand. I really, I'm neutral on this because my target comes out to 53 bucks and it's trading at 42. Uh, institutions and hedge funds have been adding, but insiders are selling so much like did i say they're selling much they're selling so much so it's there might need to be some time for that to um bake into the stock price so uh yeah let me know your thoughts on this i'm pretty neutral we have my targets to watch for support again we're in an area of opportunity here I would like to see some consolidation. You can see this stock consolidates for about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months, moves up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months, moves up, moves up, consolidates one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months, one, two, three, four, five, maybe a couple more months. I don't know. There's just, it's hard to really associate with this one because it's just such a power mover, but I mean, they're crushing it. You want a company that crushes it? They're crushing it. So uh, this is my areas of support and resistance. Am I going to buy this one? Uh, no, I'm not. Even though it's at a 57% discount, I still don't want to buy it at the moment. Um, maybe in a couple months, but we'll see. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button, and I hope you have a great day. Adios.